almost 80% of the fuel to start up those engines and then to blast that rocket ship off into the air. It takes 80% of the fuel just to get the rocket ship off the ground. Okay. That's kind of like you signing up for the program and creating your vision and beginning to do this, this, this work. It's like you, you're like excited and you're motivated and you're inspired, right? And then you're sailing through the air and you're like, oh, this is cool. Like everything is great. Everything is fine. And then you reach the edge of Earth's atmosphere. And if you do not have an extra rocket booster, you will hit the edge of Earth's atmosphere and it will bounce you back down to Earth. This is where the coach comes into play. Have you ever started something up? You're like, I'm going to change my life, whether it be losing weight, like you've lost 20 pounds and then you gain it back. You lose 20 pounds and then you gain it back. Or why people who win the lottery tend to find themselves broke within three years because they don't have the extra, extra rocket booster that is going to propel them through the atmosphere into space and toward the moon. So you really and desperately need that extra rocket booster. Okay. Another reason why you're going to need a coach is because once you get through Earth's atmosphere, you fact, this is truth, you will be 99% of the time off course while trying to get to the moon. And you're going to need to tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak and keep tweaking all the way to the moon. So I'm here to help you light the fire, ignite the fire of your dream and reach for the moon, and we're going to land on Mars. So we are going to take our lives to the, to the next level. And I'm not saying that all of this is like easy peasy pie. Some of it can be challenging. You're going to learn about your paradigms. You're going to learn about your patterns. You may know some of your patterns, but paradigms. And like I said, humanity is going through a paradigm shift. So instead of waiting for the money in order to go on the trip, you are going to start to create the trip and the money will come, right? And I know that sounds scary. And that's true for every other area in your life, for creating everything in your life. It's going to be reversed. And it's scary. And, but it's fun. And when you get in tune and when you really, um, understand your superhuman powers and your mental faculties and you understand the laws of the universe it is going to get easier and easier and you are going to have a lifelong skill set you are going to be able to do this over and over and over again in your life you will become a channel for divine flow your whole nervous system, your whole body is going to relax. You are going to move from that place of fight or flight into rest and digest. And then when you need to use the fight or flight, when you need to get out of a situation or you need to stand up for yourself or you need it, because we need that. We need it still. It's there. It still works for us. You can use it. And then you can move right back into rest and digest. So like I'm saying, right now is the time for how to change your life, how to create the reality that you would love. And so please feel free to go to my website, RebeccaYurick.com or thehighfrequencychannel.com and check out the program. Just read about it. Um, you can always 
like my page, the High Frequency channel, like and follow me there. Turn on the notifications so you know when I go live to give lectures or free readings, right? I love to do the free readings, but I, what I love more is to give you your power back, is to watch you expand. And remember that the life force within you is always seeking greater expression through you as you. So if you are in a, if you aren't taking action steps toward the life that you would love to live, the universe will do something to force you to wake up and move into and start moving toward that life. And when the universe has to do it, it's not fun. It's going to be an accident, an illness, or a divorce, or something that is going to wake you up so that it moves you in the direction of your life. So there are two ways of expanding your life. One is to wait for the accident <laughs> or to get a coach, get into a program, begin to systematically take your life to the next level. Please join me. I would love to have you there. Go to my website, thehighfrequencychannel.com or rebeccayurek.com. Make sure you follow me and on my webpage, The High Frequency Channel. Join me live for free readings and lectures and fun. And I would absolutely love to have you in my program. Like I said, I'm making it very affordable. I want to reach lots and lots of people. I want to make massive change in the world by helping people, motivating them, inspiring them, giving them the tools to create the life that they would love to live. And you guys have been awesome. I love you. My name is Rebecca Yurick. I am a dream builder coach, a life mastery consultant, and become a channel for divine flow. You are listening to A1R Psychic Radio and Moonstruck TV. Again, this is Rebecca Yurick with the High Frequency Channel. Have a beautiful week. I love you. Namaste. South Wales. I'm actually two hours um, over the border from Queensland and I'm at my mum's place and yeah I decided I don't get to see her often um, as she works a lot and I work so um, it's really nice to catch up with her but the main um, reason for me being down here this weekend is um, I'm actually working. I'm booked in with lots of readings and um, yeah, so my service is to provide guidance, insight, um, oh, connect loved ones to connect loved ones to anyone that's passed over. Um, and so far, we've had I've had an amazing day, a busy day. Um, so yeah, so that's been my week, uh, my day actually. But I've actually had a really um, a big week. A big week in change. Um, there's lots of change happening around my family life at the moment. Um, change can be scary. Um, it can be frightening. Um, it also can cause a lot of emotions, um, lots of heartache. But, you know, change is so good for all of us. Um, and in order for us to grow, um, to learn, to move forward, to create um, movement in life, we do need to get out of our comfort zones, um, to face our fears, um, take responsibility for our actions, um, and just res- take responsibility for you know for things that um, if things aren't right, then 
we need to own up to them and be honest with our feelings. So it's been a really tough week for me, but um, I've noticed that it's just not has it's not just myself. I've had lots of clients that have been going through some rough times um, with relationships, careers, um, with their children, um, just ugh, finance. So it seems to be, I think, because we had the full moon last weekend. So there's lots of stuff that, you know, I've been letting go of that's just been weighing down and playing on my mind. Um, and I've noticed that a lot with my clients that, you know, we have been holding on to a lot of things that just weigh us down and, you know, just acknowledging those feelings and acknowledging the situations that, you know, you may find yourself in and knowing that it's not working out or things just don't feel right. It's good to express those and just see what can change. Um, so I've actually, you know, yeah, so change is huge. Um, and so I found this quote um, online. I'm always looking at quotes that resonate with my heart and I do like to share. And the quote that I came across was the three C's in life, um, choice, chance and change. So you must make the choice to take the chance if you want anything in life to change. So I'm taking a big risk in my life at the moment, but it's going to bring a lot more happiness for myself and the people around me. So it's, I do it with, you know, it's um, something close to me, but it's, you know, I just know that I'm going to be a lot happier and, um, and it's what, you know, we, what we do. So, um, so yes, yeah, so, you know, follow the three C's. Um, so we're going to connect to our caller. I'm looking forward to it. So it's Crystal, Crystal in um, U, uh, USA. Yeah. Hello, Crystal. Hello. How, how are you? How are you today? Good. Good. How are you? Very well, thank you. How can I help you? So I've, I've actually, just before we get into it, I feel like you've got some heartache around your heart chakra at the moment. Is, is this resonating with you? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so how can I help you tonight? Uh, tonight, um, I just kind of want a uh, basic a uh, reading, just kind of tell them like what's going to go on around me, maybe with my daughter's baby, and yeah, I don't know if there's anything different coming along. Yes, okay. So with your um, daughter's baby, has there been some um, complications with? Um, more so just with the, um, what I'm seeing is just with the sizing more than the dates as such, more so the sizing, the measurements. Sorry, what was that? Has there been any um, complications with just the, I guess, the estimation on the date? Something about the, has there been some concerns about around the, um, just the growing of the baby? Um, no, it's more, it's more her, her heart rate. Just, I just want to know if she's going to be okay. Yep. Yeah, I just, um, also your daughter, um, is quite stressed at the moment as well because I feel her heart rate, her, her heart rate as well. So the more stressed out that she is and as hard as it is because it's things that we cannot control, um, it also, you know, uh, um, you know, the baby um, also notices it as well. So yeah. what I'm getting at, what I'm, what I'm seeing is like um, rest and recovery is, um, I can see the words in front of me, rest and recovery. So more rest, more recovery time just to rest up and to take it easy. I see that, you know, everything's going to be okay with for your, um, your daughter as well as your baby, you know, your granddaughter coming along. Um, it's just, I am. Um, it's just rest and rest and recovery I keep seeing. Lots of rest, feet up. And I just feel like there's lots of anxiety around the unknown. But I see that everything's going to be okay. It's just that the more stressed out, it, the more um, oh, the more stressed out you can be, the, um, the more sensitive that the baby um, is tuning into. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I keep seeing. I'm also keep seeing that um, if your daughter's feet are really swollen, if she's had high blood pressure, because um, I'm really um, drawn to the swelling around her feet, 
Um, I'm also, I've had trouble breathing. So if, if she's got any implications or any kind of concerns around her breathing, your daughter, um, it could also be just what? anxiety. Um, your daughter's lungs. Um, I'm just breathing. Oh. I've got breathing issues. Okay. Um, I just see that it's just anxiety, you know, fear of um, the future and, you know, fear of, you know, what's going to happen, but everything's going to be okay. I keep just seeing rest and recovery, rest, rest, rest. Okay. Great. Um, yeah, and I'm also really drawn to obviously the fluid in um, your daughter's feet, but what I'm also seeing is there's lots of um, stress around her, like in her environment, like people around her. Does this resonate? Yeah. Because I keep seeing there's lots of, yeah, there's lots of um, stress around her that she cannot control, but it's there's a lot going on in her life at the moment, which makes it really hard for her to rest up. Yeah, it is. Um, she's having a rough time. Wasn't... No, no, not at all. Um, she also has another child. Is that correct? Because I keep seeing another child around her. Um, no, she just. This is her first one. Oh wait, she okay. she lost. She had a um, miscarriage. Yep. Yes. Okay. Because that's why. Because there's somebody really close. Oh, there's. I can see a child around her. So that would make sense to me. Why I keep seeing another child around her. Um. Mm -hmm. Um. Yes, yeah, so I do see that. So she's definitely not alone. You know, and um, just there's lots of um, just the environment, just around her. Um, I guess change is always good, you know, to make the little changes, making little changes make big differences as well into our health and to our well-being. And so, yeah, basically, and the more she talks to you, the better. I feel like she's, because um, uh, you're very calm and, you know, um, like to her you can really calm her down. So I see that her communicating with you really um, reassures her that everything's okay as well. Okay, that's nice. Um, yes, and, and it is, it's definitely a granddaughter. Have you found out, does she know the sex of her child yet? Yeah, it's a granddaughter. It's my granddaughter. Okay. Yeah, okay, because yes, definitely. Because I keep seeing the pink everywhere. I just want to make sure that that's what I was seeing. Um, and I'm also, because it doesn't feel like, is it like four months she's got to go? I keep seeing four around her. But what was that? Um, four months. Is she four? What is it? Four, five, four months to go. Oh, it's she, number four around her. With four? Um, she, yes. She's, she'll be three days old tomorrow. I don't know. Three days four. old. Okay, four. Okay, yeah. so I keep seeing fours. Okay, so she's three days. Okay, so I keep seeing number four around her. Okay, sorry. Here, I'm, here I thought that the, um, your granddaughter wasn't yet born. Sorry, so she is born. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what I'm getting for you is that um, I keep seeing um, – Okay, sorry, that was my fault. I keep seeing a child around you, but I also see that she's um, I'm getting the number four. Everything's going, going to be okay. It's just the environment around her. Okay. Um, um, that was my, I apologize. I apologize. I actually really confused that up for you. So, oh, my goodness. Um, everything's going to be okay. It's just to work on the environment and the stress around her at the moment. Okay. Rest and recovery. Rest and recovery. Um, I also, it's just that I, sorry? Go ahead. Oh, sorry, I just feel like I have breathing issues as well. So that's why, you know, my breathing feels a bit delayed or even just, um, just has there been any sickness in the family? Um, she, Brittany, my daughter's got a, a cold right now where she's having a lot of, Way food in her lungs and coughing up stuff. Okay, maybe that. So that makes sense. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah. Def definitely. That's what I. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like I. I literally. I'm having trouble breathing on my lungs, and I feel like I'm suffocating. Just that you know, it's hard to breathe. Yes. So that's that makes sense to me. While I'm tuning into her energy. 
Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. And with the swelling feet, does anyone have um, sw- um, fluid in their feet? Um, her feet are a little swollen. Yeah. Okay. Because um, I also feel like it's just, you know, because um, oh, I keep getting fluids. I know fluids, but also rest, rest and recovery, the feet up. Okay. Um, also, just another question with yourself, and I know, um, are you uh, moving at all? Because I keep seeing there's a change in your movement. There's movement change around you. Are you thinking of moving? Um, I actually just moved into a place, and I don't like it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, no, that's not, yeah, oh, geez. Well, I see there's change around you, change coming your way. I don't feel that you'll last that long because I keep seeing you moving. So it's interesting that you've just moved into a new home and I can see you moving into another home. So, Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah. Now, is, is there, yeah. Is, can I ask one more question? Yes, definitely. Is there, did it, is there anybody that came to say any messages for me? Um, I keep, I have a gentleman with me and it's interesting because he keeps showing me uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's, I have a symbol and whether he's of different like race color, because I keep seeing a boomerang and obviously someone that's very close to your heart. That's, it's, uh, it's interesting. I get a boomerang and it's like somebody that's always around you, but I get a male energy. I have a male energy around me at the moment. Um, he's also feel like he wasn't, he wasn't like age there was health issues there wasn't there was what is he's not old but he's not young either so he's in you know whether he's in his 50s the 60s it may be even the 60s but that's yeah because he's not old at all even 60s aren't old um and Um. very much does this resonate with you? Because he's showing me these outside. He's also showing me a boomerang, but whether he was really good at with his hands and making things out of wood. Hmm. I don't know. But I definitely have this gentleman here and he's got this beautiful energy, if anything, a big heart, a big giver, and it was always, you know, very... Um, you know, like he's very protective and always went out of his way um, for others. Yeah, yeah. Um, I lost a, a a boyfriend, and he was in his uh, late forties. Yep. Yep. Okay. So it's even that you know it's still pretty young. And do, can you resonate with the the making wood, making things out of wood? Um, I can't, no, not, I can't resonate okay. that. I had a grandpa who would still good clock. Yep. Okay. Because I keep seeing he's really good with his hands, a very handy man, but very skillful. Yeah. That would probably yeah, be so him. I, yeah, because I definitely have someone around and he's like young in age, but very quite fit, very, very much, you know, um, Oh, he's just very protective and really, really went out of his way to give to others. Thank you. Um, that's okay, Crystal. It was lovely to connect with you. Um, I look, yeah, I would love for you to follow me on Gemma Spirit World, my Facebook page. Yeah, I will. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Uh, we have Annette, 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 sorry, from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. How are you? Hi, Annette, great, thank you. Annette. I'm excited to be oh, here. Uh, oh, it's lovely to hear your voice. It's actually, you have a lot of vibrancy in your um, energy at the moment. You have, like, you're full of life. I'm just so excited because I really, um, met, like, I really miss a lot of people. And the, the only chance I really get is I don't, I have always, I always think about getting a reading and it's just, it just means everything to me. Yeah. Wow. Well, definitely. Let's see what we can do. What would you like me to look, look like? What would you like me to see what's in your life? What kind of guidance would you like me to look into? Like, for you? Uh, anything like um, from the spirit world, if there's anybody coming through. 
Yeah. 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 Um, just a question. Um, I know this is not it's not in regards to the spirit world, but are you um afraid of spiders? Because I've got spiders everywhere. Wow. <laughs> we get lots of spiders in our house and our outside of our house, yes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I've got I can see them, oh, I can see them, they're like yeah, everywhere. So it's like, oh my goodness. They're like wolf spiders. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Been getting those lately in our um, Oh wow, you do have a lot of them, that's for sure. Um, okay, so let me just see for you who else is here in the room. I just, <laughs> apart from the spiders, apart from the spiders, um, I've actually got somebody here, and what they're showing me, I, I'm just trying to tune in. But there's something, someone around musical, someone a piano. I'm actually seeing a piano. If you have anyone in spirit that used to play the piano. Um, uh, not that I know of. Okay, because I've got... Oh, my even son used to do that when he was um, really young. Yeah, I've got someone here and, and they and passed over, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, okay, because I've got someone here showing me the piano. Um, I've also, let me just see if he can show me a little bit more. He doesn't... Um, cause generally when I have loved ones that drop in, they like to, they're very, they like to express just depending if they communicated a lot, but he's not communicating a lot to me. He may have been the kind of person that didn't communicate a lot when he was living. Is that correct? Was he not one for communicating a lot, expressing himself? Um, well, he was pretty, um, kind, like he, he talked to me quite a bit, but I didn't hear from him the next day. Okay. Um, was he like the quiet person? Like, not only. Yeah, he was. Like, okay. Yeah, because that's what, because I have this energy around me and definitely I, I feel like it's him because um, with the piano, but he's not saying too much words. And, and if anything, he's just showing me more images, which is fine because obviously that's the way he would like to communicate with me to get to you. But um, he just lets me know he wasn't one for. You know, it took a lot for him to trust people to really, for him to open up and to communicate with. Okay. Um, he's also letting me know, like, it's interesting because I've also have someone that's uh, if, definitely him, but did he used to fly kites when he was younger? I've got kites, flying kites. Um, yeah, not too often. Okay, but he had done it when he was younger because I've got... He's showing me flying kites in the backyard or in the in the open field. I can see these kites going up in the air. Oh. Um, um, not very often, no. Okay, so he's also showing me, do you have a blue car? Or it may not just, yeah, a car. There's something going on with a car, but I'm more drawn to, to the color blue. Uh, I, have a blue. I don't have, I used to have a blue car. Okay, okay. Um, okay, okay, so that could be why. It's, and with that car, have you only just recently got this car? Like the car that you have now, how long ago was the blue car when you had the blue car? I um, was about 10 years ago. Okay, it's a very long time. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, I keep seeing the, um, okay, the 31st, the resident, does the 31st month of anything resonate with you for a birthday or anniversary? 31st, I keep seeing. The 31st of what? Sorry. Yeah, three one. Just three one. Oh, I don't have a month. I just have the 31st. Oh, I have a brother that's um, birthday is the 31st. Okay, so that's probably what, because it feels like it's more around a birthday, the 31st. Um, I'm also very okay. drawn to, like, animals, anim animals outside, like sheep, as whether it was on a farm as well. I'm really drawn to cattle. Farm, farm animals. Can you resonate with this environment, um, um, outdoor area? Yeah, my grandfather sheep. owned a farm. But he owned a big farm, okay. like a 500 acre farm. Wow. And they have um, yeah, so cattle. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I keep seeing as well. Wow. Um, also, let me see what else is coming through. Um, it's just, yeah, it just feels like the open space, open space is so much better than being inside. 
um, just I just want to be outside around water, even to see like a creek, a creek with rocks and water. Um, I'm really drawn to the creek, whether it was something that you used to play in when you were younger. Um, it was, it's like a water hole. I'm really drawn to a water hole. Lots of flowers as well I keep seeing. Um, but it just feels like you used to just drive, unless you enjoy driving because I see lots of driving around you as well. Yeah, we drive a lot. <laughs> We're going a lot of yeah. drives in my okay, family. Is that the- Okay, so that's showing me. Okay, great, because that's what I'm seeing. Lots of driving, lots of driving. Um, also, you. are you planning on, planning on going on a holiday soon? Because I keep seeing holiday, holiday. Um, not that I know of. Okay, so you've definitely got a holiday coming up because I just see holiday, no destination confirmed yet because it feels like it's um, a decision between two locations. Okay. Interesting. Um, also. Yeah. Um, also, I'm really drawn to. Um, I, are you the kind of person that would wear like gum boots or boots? Yes. Yes, because that's what I'm really drawn to: gum boots or your boots. Um, um, unless you've like also. In, um, do you have a lot of them? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand why I'm being shown your gum boots or boots. I don't know. Style. I just have one pair of boots. Okay. <laughs> Um, and because you're very much outdoors, though, you prefer to be outdoors than indoors. Is that correct? Um, yeah. Well, we go for a lot of drives. Yeah. Um, I kind of yeah, like exactly. both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've just kind of like, it's like, you know, when you drive and you see the scenery and of different locations. I yeah, get we that, really that a lot, place. yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I see as, as I see through your eyes. I just have that inner oh, peace. I'm thinking of a lot of gardening. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And that's why I keep seeing flowers around you as well. Yeah. Um, there's a lot, we, like I made a memorial garden in memory of my son. Yeah. Well, and I yeah, try to keep myself yeah, well, busy. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And you're always doing lots with your hands. You're always on the go. It's, it's amazing what a, a lot of people can experience by looking through your eyes. You take you take in a lot of things. You're very grateful for everything that you have and you have a lot of gratitude, but you do take in a lot of, a lot of things. Like, you're very observant. Thank you. Um, and I feel your heart. You give a lot of, you give a lot and it's beautiful to see that um, it's not just to others, but to nature and to animals. Like you really give your time and love to a lot of things. Oh, thank you. Um, do you have any other questions? I'm just seeing what else will pop through. I'm just um, I'm wondering if anybody else is coming through in the um, spirit world. Like, if there's anybody. I, I do like, have someone that's younger. Or anything? Because I just had someone Sorry, that's half the way. Yep, okay, but I have someone younger coming through. Like, okay. Younger. Have you had any, any children? Uh, you know, someone youngish, youngish has come through. Yes. Okay. Um, I do have them around me at the moment, and it's, I just, they're reaching out for a big hug. You know, that's, you know, to let them know that they're okay. They have animals, animals around them, pets and loved ones, but. Um, when I look around everyone, I just see everyone hugging. So there's lots of love and support and just there's you know, everyone comforting one another. It feels really nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, yeah, okay, lovely. We need a wrap. Oh, I'm glad because that's who I have and I'm so sorry, sorry to cut this short, but um, our time is up. But I would love for you to follow me on Gemma's Spirit World on my Facebook page so we can connect again. Oh, thank you. Thank you so very much. That's thank okay. You. That's okay. And your loved ones are always around looking and they're always around you. I can hear. I can see them. Thanks. Sounds just like my son. My son Brandon. Yes. Yes, definitely. Someone very close to you, to your heart is there. Thank you so much. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. You too. Bye.
Okay, thank you for everyone for the two beautiful ladies for connecting with me tonight on A1R Psychic Radio. Um, I wish everyone a great weekend and I look forward to connecting with you when I'm back on the Gold Coast for next week. So thank you. Hi, I'm Ron, and thanks for watching Moonstruck, and now A1R on the air, Psychic Talk Radio on Moonstruck TV, enlightening television. Hi, welcome to Insights into Consciousness. I'm your host tonight, Anna Olson, here on A1R Radio. Tonight, I am going to do a free online live reading, and um, in the interim, before that, I wanted to pull a, a card for uh, a horoscope. So it's just going to be a random card for a random horoscope that comes up. And I have a um, basically a horoscope um I guess you could call it a, a cloth with different horoscopes. And I don't look at it. I just set it out. Um, and there's a horoscope that I can just pretty much land on. It's sort of like um, dropping your finger on a map. But it's more or less the solar system. And it's going to land on one sign. sign and I'm going to um, apply the card that I pulled for that sign. So um, I'm going to shuffle my cards. And um, we'll see if it's your sign tonight. I pulled the Eight of Swords, and that is a very, you know, well, it has a lot of different meanings to it. So the Eight of uh, Swords, it could mean a bunch of things. Um, I will, first of all, let it land on a sign, which is going to be Capricorn, which is one of my most, um, I guess it's one of the, the signs that get along with Virgos the best. So that's one of my signs that I get along with best. So Capricorns. Um, all the Capricorns watching tonight, I have an Eight of Swords. I'm feeling like this is meaning that your power and your personal power and the things that you're choosing and um, either choosing to do or um, what direction you want to go in, I feel like you're, you have a lot of options and it's hard to choose which one. Now, this is very common during readings, and that's usually why people come to a reader, is they may have a bunch of different ways that they can go or a bunch of different decisions that they can make um, with all these different options. And I'm seeing all these eight uh, swords representing a different option to continue your, you know, where you want to put your energy, where your energy is going to flow, where you're going to focus in your life. And when we feel kind of pinned against the wall or painted into a corner and there's only a few different ways to get out of this, it can feel a little bit tricky. But this is the universal uh, message that I want to send with this card, that spirit always has what's best for you in store. And you will always go there. Um, you'll be led to that. As long as you're really in tune, you're um, connecting to higher power, you're really meditating, you're really listening to yourself, um, really it's about finding your own compass and your own intuition about things. And what I like to do as a reader is to confirm that that was the correct choice. Uh, now, sometimes we will have a back and forth where I pick up on all these different options for somebody and I'll get this energetic and, you know, feeling about it and we kind of go into all these different options and basically what we come to is that person making this a decision on what they feel is best and I can tell them okay well if you pick this uh choice then down the road this is how it's going to look if you pick this choice down the road this is how it's going to look so what we do during a reading is we pick all these different options and I just guide the person into seeing what will happen with each option. Now, this isn't what happens with every single reading, but this is a very common practice, which is also where I incorporate a lot of my life coach training skills in psychology, where we really look at things in a very neutral way. And we say, okay, 
if you do this, this is what could happen. If you do this, these are the options. These are, this is how it could end up. And is this really what you want for your life? So it's about helping the person pick what they want, not insisting what I think as much, maybe giving my two cents, but, and my experience, but basically letting them come to a decision and, a their own decision as to what they want for their life and what they're hoping for, for the outcome that they desire. So I'd like to do an uh, on air live reading right now for Angela in Ontario. Angela, are you there? I am. Yes. Hi, how are you tonight? Hello. I'm good. Thank Hi. You. How are you? Good. Are you? I'm great. It's fun to do my show. I had a surgery and I, I'm like recovering and I'm just so excited. You're my first reading after my recovery. And um, so I'm really excited to do your reading tonight. Nice. Excellent. Me too. I'm excited yeah. to hear. <laughs> Good. Yeah. yeah. So how can I guide you tonight? What would you like to focus on? Um, my new relationship. Okay. Um, your new relationship. And are you... Are you wanting to see if you can, um, like, how this is going to go or if your your instinct is right yeah. about this guy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm really feeling like he is, now you tell you give me feedback when I start seeing, telling you what I see, because I'm seeing that he is a kind person and he's very well-natured. Yeah. Um, I, I would even say he's... What's the word? I, I don't want to say like jolly. I'm trying to look, look find the word. It's yes. like he's bubbly. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So I'm seeing him. Yep. Yeah. And um, for some reason, I'm getting a cherub, almost like he's like a cherub, or this is like a cherub uh, shot an arrow and, and caught you guys. Or, or uh, can you, do you, does that ring a bell for you? The, the cherub and the curly hair? Cherub? Curly yeah. Curly white hair? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And is, what does he look like? Does he have the curly hair or am I getting it for something else? He, no, he has curly white hair. Yep. Okay. Okay. So I'm seeing him and, oh, it's curly white hair. That's so neat. Um, I'm getting that he is very, very charming and he's supposed to really spread this, this charming nature. And he's part of a, I want to say it's almost like he's a tribe of, of a type of a, a person, a type of human. And they, they have these great spirits about them. And they're supposed to just kind of spread this um, positivity that they have inherently. Right. Now, that's what I, I mean, I really love that, by the way, because I know a few people um, who are like that. And they're really fun to be around. Now, the only thing that, you know, I would say, you know, you, you said that you really want to get some guidance and some insight into him. This is the thing with these, these types is that, yes, they're wonderful. They have this great personage about them. They're, um, they're very positive people and they really, you know, do spread that loving heart that they have, but everybody has their difficulties and everybody has their downside. And the only thing that may kind of be, you know, come into play later on is that first, when you're in the beginning part of a relationship, things are exciting and, and fun and you're in love and really motivated and, and it's so, you know, fun and great. And then what can happen is after a little while, you know, you'll kind of relax, you'll kind of see each other's, um, you know, issues or your um, different right. things about your personality. And so his, I'm getting would be basically that he may get a little bit lax. His personality is very relaxed. And okay. that um, I'm getting for you, you're a go-getter. You're like, go, 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 do, do, do. And... Yeah. That's wonderful. That's very compatible, first of all, because where you're very maybe high energy, he will kind of bring you down to a more mellow level when you need to come home and just relax. Right. And then you, okay. you will motivate. Yeah, you'll be able to motivate him where he's a little more relaxed and not so pushed to get it done. And he's motivated, but it's just in a different way. He kind of gets it done right. in his time yeah. on his right. day. Yeah. So he's going to be able to really kind of bring you down to a more mellow level and you're going to really be able to motivate him and bring him up to more of a motivated level. Now, the thing is though, the downside to that is he may kind of feel like, Oh, she's so pushy or she's, you know, after a while. And then he may kind right. of like, look, that'll be his point of view. Then when you look at him, you kind of be like, gosh, I really wish he was more motivated and that he had more of a, 
you know, he felt more rushed to get this done type feeling is what I'm getting. Okay. Um, okay. And so it, but neither is right or wrong. It's just your personalities and they are compatible. Okay. So that's it in a nutshell. Is there any other question you have or is there anything else you'd like to ask about? Um, my career. Okay. Now, your career, I'm, is there a question of relocating for you? Yes. Okay, because um, I'm kind of getting that you do something where you have clients and you need to have a clientele, is that correct? A what, for Clientele, like you need to have people that you kind of build, you kind of yeah. build your clientele. Yes. Clientele, yes. Okay, so are you, did you do hair or something like that? No, I do energy healing. Energy healing. Okay. Okay. Because I also feel like you do really well doing hair and makeup and stuff like that. But, um, yes, I do. I do. <laughs> you do. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, you're great at it. Um, but, you know, um, I think that the basic thing about relocating is to be aware that when you do relocate, you're going to have to have a new clientele. And I know, you, I mean, it, it depends on how far away you move, of course, but just to be aware right. of how long it takes to build that clientele. Take that yeah. into account. Think about how much you'd have to save and maybe have a backup plan in the interim to have a good savings, to have, you know, and I feel like you, you're such a planner that you probably have thought of all of this, but that I'm just confirming that, yes, this is really what you'd need to focus on. Okay. Yeah. All right. That makes and, sense. And gee, I really feel like you would just do really well in something that where you do makeup or hair, like you also, you could also do that as a supplement um, job. Like you would, people would love you, you know, you're, you're, you're really fun to be around and it would just be really fun for you and the clients. You do a great job. Right now I'm doing house cleaning on the side because, okay. because I don't have the clientele for my intuitive energy healing. Mm -hmm. 